and just looking amazing. Today I thought I'd do a really fun quick video about getting ready, sort of a getting ready with me outfit. So today I'm meeting up with one of my friends and I'm doing something fairly casual. My definition of casual is probably different to a lot of other people's. Basically it means I don't do a full face of makeup. So you can see I'm in my pajamas right now, here's already done because I live in the real world and you go with the easiest option half the time. So when I washed my hair yesterday, I put it up in a protective style that's fairly vintage. I don't know if you can see in there. Sort of milk made braids, but with a side parting. And I'm just going to get ready, hop in the shower, get out of my Christmas Minnie Mouse pajamas, and then show you how I put together an outfit. So I'm back, nice and clean from the shower. Moisturize my face. I might show that one day of how I do moisturize it on my face, but not today. So I've got my Dolores top on. And when I build an outfit, I tend to start with one item of clothing that I want to wear that day. It could be a dress, it could be a top. But this time, it was my new Vivian of Holloway pencil skirt. So this is my new pencil skirt, hold it up for you to see. You can see, uh, I love it because it's got the shape for the hips and the butt. We really need that. Um, so I'll let you in on a little secret. This is actually my very first brand new pencil skirt actually item of clothing from Vivian of Holloway you'll find that a good 90% of the things I wear in my wardrobe are things that I've had for a long time or I do buy second hand from places like Vinted or eBay which you can get some really good bargains I mean can you believe that some people they just never wear clothes and they just buy them that's in their wardrobe um, that's not me so I thought I'd treat myself to this beautiful skirt um, I got the last one in this size as well so I'm just gonna pop it on and then I'll talk a bit more about what I'm gonna do today so I've got my skirt on as you can see fits very well um, good space for the bum very very good um, yeah I'm really pleased with this I got the sizing right um, so yeah I to be honest, I wanted to wear a kind of a latte off-white colour top with it, but I don't have it. So I'm hoping in April when we go down to London for a weekend we've got there, I'm going to pop by the shop and see if they've got any tops in my size. Um, to be honest, probably a good idea for me because I'm quite busty with a smaller waist. I mean, I'm a 32 double F, but I wear a size 10. So you can imagine I have lots of issues with tops. I often have to size up. I'll be honest, I've had this Dolores top for so long that the size label completely gone if it's a 10 it could be a 12 it could be a 14 i don't know but it still looks okay i'm guessing it's on the larger um side of things because it's a bit sort of spacious at the top than usual um so i'm just gonna finish getting ready then now i do promise that i own another cardigan it's just that i love this one so so much I made it myself, so of course I'm going to wear it. You make it yourself, it's even warmer than it would be otherwise. Um, it's not perfect, um, I'll be honest. The buttons, I can't button up because I accidentally cast off too many stitches when I was doing the ribbing edge. But that's easy to fix. If it really bothered me, I could just stitch it up with some more and make it a bit smaller. Um, but yeah, I think this is a not too bad casual outfit for me i'm gonna also wear it with these clark shoes that i got on vintage as well um the lovely flats a little bit of a heel and they're cushioned which i really really like so i'm just gonna pop this on and then i'm gonna show you how i'm going to do my makeup hello again so i'm just going to put on my face at the moment so this is what i wear pretty much every day bb cream from Aldi of all places. It's the for medium skin tones. So multi-care face cream with a touch of foundation. Cause I don't really want to look made up. I just sort of want to even out some patches in my skin tone. Um, and also it's got SPF in it. And you know, even though I'm darker skin tone, I can still get burnt. I can still suffer the, the consequences of skin, of sun damage. So um, I'd rather protect myself by just putting on a little bit of SPF every day. So I'm just going to pop this on my face using foundation brush because 
I like this one because it's a bit spread out. I can't remember what it's called by Eco Tools, and it sort of gives you sort of an airbrush buffed sort of effect to it. So I'm just gonna pop this on. I'm feeling high. Just showing you, I've done half the face. Yep, yeah. <laughs> I've done half the face um, just to show the difference between with and without. It's barely noticeable, but you know, it gives me a boost of confidence. Also, it's really helpful. It creates a little barrier with your mask when you wear it, which I find it really helpful um, to wear at work. So I'm just going to do the other half of my face. Um, I kind of like to have a bit of a defined eyebrow but that still looks natural so I like to use this very end brow wand I think this one is in um, dark brown or medium brown oh, I remember that when I bought it I had to return it because it was the wrong shade um, yeah my, my eyebrow here is very very um, dark so what I like about this is you twist it and out comes a little bit and I'm just going to line and then fill in my eyebrow. Okay, I think I've done it slightly wonky because it looks like I'm surprised more, but I am going to roll with that today. It also has a gel that you can then put onto your eyebrows, but I only do that on days when I'm feeling like I really want to get made up. But today, I'm trying to look really natural. Kind of, maybe, we'll see. Yep, that'll do. Now, um, I'm also going to put on a little bit of eyeliner. This is um, the Berry M Euphoric Metallic Liquid Eyeliner. Um, I love it, because it's so easy to put on. And it's something a little bit different to the normal black cat's eye. But I'm not going to really do a cat eye today. I'm just doing a little flick. Um, you can see. And it's it's like a lovely olive green, like my skirt. And um, with just a little bit of a metallic sheen. Trick is, always start on the side you're bad at. I'm feeling high. because I smell managed to poke myself in the eye but hey there you go it'll just be an injury I think oh, yeah I'm not picking crying oh, well. <laughs> then I am going to just add a little bit of um mascara this one is called lash impact intense volume control by number seven it was a gift from a friend and the friend I'm meeting up with today finishing touch lipstick this one is diva i always wear red lipstick this one is kind of a maroon red which matches my cardigan um normally i'd line it i use i think it's called brick or cherry one of the two from mac but um i don't feel like it today you know what you don't have to do it if you don't feel like it face I've done. Some may argue it's not natural. You're not born with eyeliner. But there you go. 
So I'm just going to accessorize and then I think I'm ready to head off for today. And so here is my whole outfit. I had to turn the audio off as I had a two year old who decided to come in and play Hey Dougie with me. Um, yeah, so I hope everyone has a lovely day and enjoyed watching me put together an old outfit. See you later.